The Walking Dead Fear the Living event is now live and you can gain plenty of rewards just by getting XP. And if you make your way all the way up to 293,000 XP, you'll earn the special event camo Barbed and Dangerous. And I'm currently only at 42,000 XP. So let's get to grinding. The first thing I'm going to do to try to earn some XP is I hopped into Zombies here to try to complete some of the new weekly challenges that just came out. And I already have a few of them done, but one thing I need to do is kill sergeants with a recommended LMG. So I brought in my TAC Eradicator here with this build. So as soon as I find a mercenary camp, that sergeant is going down. And just to make sure that we get a little extra bang for our buck, I'm popping a double XP token. All right, here's our merc camp. Take me to your sergeant. There he is. Got him. That should be some XP right there. Let's go. And now I think I'm all done with every LMG related challenge, but I just hopped into a game before this waiting for the update to come out. And I got almost all of our LMG challenges done with this TAC Eradicator and basically one game. The hardest part about it was killing all the sergeants, but I did go to the Dr. Jensen exfil and there was like one or two sergeants there. And then I just tried to clear out as many merc camps and strongholds as I could. And let's go ahead and start up an outlast because for for our next challenge and the one that's going to give us our most xp is we need to get 200 or 250 kills with an akimbo recommended weapon so i brought out a classic with the tiers here so let's beef them up a little bit and once we get all these kills we should be getting 10,000 xp just for completing this challenge and i think this is our last challenge we need to unlock the new aftermarket part for this week and i'm pretty sure that it's just an optic and hey, we're not getting anything crazy today but it looks pretty nice it's like an advanced warfare type optic it's like a classic glassless red dot that i think reduces visual recoil so could be decent but not as exciting as like the underbarrel chainsaw we got earlier but once that challenge is done i'm just gonna try to get as many kills as i can in this game because there is a limit to weapon xp you can get in zombies but actual xp level xp i don't think there's any limit on so i'm gonna complete as many contracts as i can kill as many zombies as i can and hopefully we can take a big chunk out of the xp that we need for this event i guess there is like two more weekly challenges we could try in this game Game, I'll have to try to get a hundred kills with a recommended battle rifle, which is going to be tough to do because we'll either have to get it from a wall buy or the mystery box. And I won't know if it's recommended or not until we get like a hundred kills on it. And then it's the same thing with assault rifles. If we can get a hundred kills with a recommended assault rifle while using speed cola, we'll also get 5,000 XP. So there's opportunity to gain a little bit more in this game. We just got to get kind of lucky. Oh, there it is. That's a nice 20,000 XP. All thanks to our double XP token, which I'm pretty sure everyone should have. Since the servers went down the other day, I'm pretty sure they gifted everybody a one hour XP token of each kind. So it should make doing this event a little bit easier. And there's our outlast. And let's hit the box real quick. Let's see if we can get an assault rifle or a battle rifle. Oh, Bass B. You know what? There's a battle rifle. I hope it's recommended. And let's just knock out a quick bounty while we still have these tiers. And we'll make quick work of whatever we get. What's up, Mangler? Why don't you take a seat? I think he's dumb. Hey, yeah, you can't get to me. Idiot. Oh. See ya. Let's just do every contract in the area. I miss when this contract just spawned unlimited zombies. That was the greatest. Added a little bit of variety to the grind. Now we just have Outlast and Exfils. And that should do it for our contract. We can clear out the stronghold though. It should help us out a little bit. There is a level up. So you know we're getting some decent XP. Oh, and there's our battle rifle challenge. Sweet. It was recommended. Now give me an AR. Preferably a recommended one. Oh, a legendary, but not what I'm looking for. This would have been nice for our LMG challenge. Oh, we already got that done. MCW. That's definitely an AR. Could possibly be recommended. Guess we'll find out. Oh, let's go. Oh, wait, no, that's just 100 kills with assault rifles. Either way, that's still a bit of XP. Not exactly the challenge I was looking for, though. So maybe that tells us that this isn't a recommended rifle. Actually, I think we need 250 kills, so this could still work. There's now a level. Oh, and this was a recommended assault rifle. Let's go. So now we can just get kills with whatever we want. Let's see if we can go find ourselves a turret circuit. That way we can just bring it into tier three and have it rack up kills for us. And the best way to find those circuits is through a stronghold. So let's see if we can get some in here. There we go. All cleared out. At least of sis. These zombies still need to go. And do we have any circuits in here? Of course not. Oh, wait. Nope. Spoke too soon. Now, let's try our luck here in tier three before the storm starts moving in. Might as well get this fully pack-a-punched or as pack-a-punched as we can get it. And let's throw a turret circuit in here. We can help these guys out with their abomination. Uh, looks like they didn't need too much help. 
Our turret did take the final shot on him. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of spawns over here. So I'm going to grab this escort contract to see if we can get some zombies to show up. Oh, he's giving me essence. Appreciate you, dude. Let's throw a sentry gun on top of this. Let's start her up. And I got some help for this too. I don't even have to do anything. I might actually be able to complete this contract with the help of this random team. There we go. We got it. Appreciate the help, boys. Now, where's final exfil going to be? We've got the storm here, so I'm assuming it's going to be over here. Let's just go grind kills until that chopper comes in. Right after I take care of some business. There we go. Took his ass out. Appreciate the help again, fellas. Some nice people this game. And we're out of here. How much XP do we get for that one game? We got 2,000, almost 3,000 for our essence. 1700 for upgrades 1100 for pois half of whatever 27,000 just for our kills we made up to 38,000. that's not bad look at all those challenges we got done too were these added into it oh we got 96,000 actually damn that's like 100,000 xp in just an hour look at that 96,755 that puts us at 139,000 XP out of the 293 that we need. Now let's try to get some of our weekly challenges done for multiplayer. This is a fat chunk of XP just sitting here. So we need to get tax dance kills with recommended ARs. We need to get three kills in the same mag five times. And we need to get kills with an alternate ammo type. So I went ahead and used this build for frangible rounds. And I'm also using the method of throwing as many decoys as I can in DDoSing whenever I get my field upgrade. Just add a little bit extra XP to this. And I switched my mag to the 60 round just to give me a little bit more wiggle room on trying to get these three kills in the same mag. I think we got one of them done. There's our 30 kills with alternate ammo type. And since I'm done with the tax stance kills, I can finally use this new optic. It actually looks pretty good. It's a very clean optic. And after going 37 and 35 with 30 seconds on the hard point, joining a game in progress, we got two of these weekly challenges done. That's quick 10,000 XP on top of another 10,000 almost. There we go. There's our three kills with one magazine. These guys are shit. Oh, we got triple kills. I didn't even know that was a challenge. Damn, I kind of popped off that game. 57 kills, 31 confirms, 13 denies, 23 deaths, 10,000 score. Plus two challenges complete. That's 34,000 XP for 10 minutes of my time. I'm not going to lie. At this point, I kind of just locked in. So I'm going to give you guys the cliff notes and the strats that I used to get the rest of the XP. So after this, I played another multiplayer game trying to do a challenge with the Haymaker and I didn't complete it, but I still gained 14,000 XP in around 10 minutes of playing. But I noticed I hadn't completed any of the Warzone weekly challenges yet this season. And two of the weeks have four challenges where you only need to loot 20 chests in the four regions of the map. And just to make things better, there was also challenges for getting 10 kills in these same spots. So I hopped in a plunder to see if it would track there and got to looting. And to my surprise, it actually worked. So I thought, why not double dip and go for the kills in this area too? And to start, I was slapping this team around, taking them out systematically one by one until I traded with this dude and got taken out after self rezzing And I was kind of feeling myself, so I went back trying to get revenge and they beat my ass every time. So I tucked my tail between my legs and spent the rest of the game going to different areas and looting. I even used some of these search contracts just to make it a bit easier. I ended up finishing the game with only 21,000 XP just from the kills and the looting I did, but after it added my challenge reward, that bumped it up to 45,000 XP just for the half hour of playing. So I hopped into one more game of plunder and got the rest of my looting challenges done. And in that game, I only got one kill, only completed three contracts, collected 800 grand and looted 41 chests. I got 29 thousand xp and with the six challenges i completed it gave us enough to get our event camo totaling at seventy four thousand xp for the whole game and this is what our barbed and dangerous camo looks like in game obviously it's not the flashiest camo out there but i still think it looks pretty nice and if you're a fan of the walking dead i think you'll like this camo because it's paying homage to negan's weapon of choice his barbed wire bat lucille it's got a few blood stains here and there as well as the barbed wire going across it but i still think it looks pretty nice it's a nice alternative to some of the more flashy camos and since we don't have a baseball bat melee weapon in this game like we did in cold war i went ahead and threw this camo on the tomfa 
because it's the next best thing. And honestly, if you use your imagination a little bit, it kind of looks like it. And just because we have Rick and Michonne actually in the game, I went ahead and threw it on the dual Kadochis for Michonne to see what it looked like. And it's it's all right. I don't think it really fits too well. And I also threw it on the tier revolver for Rick. And it doesn't look too bad on this. But there you have it. We went and we got this event camo in around two hours, which isn't bad compared to some of the other event camos that we've gotten in the past, like our million XP magma camo or our 500,000 XP dragon event camo. This one seems so easy in comparison. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.